What is going on, everyone? It's Gage here, and welcome to You Buck That Podcast. So, I want to first, I've been uh, having, I've been feeling on the weather for the last four to five days, so that's probably why you haven't seen any content. I was planning on it, especially with all been going on, but uh, I've been feeling that great. Uh, I'm feeling better now, so I bear with me. I haven't really prepared. So I am uh, just going by what I have stored in here. <laughs> but let's get started. So Kyler Murray. There's a lot of rumors, more specifically towards Bucks fans, that, uh, that there might be a connection between him and Evans, and they might want to be together once again. Or I don't think they ever played with each other, but they uh, they know each other through college. They were both at Texas A&M. They both played at Texas A&M. Mike Evans stayed there for the rest of his uh, college career, and Murray was there for about two years before he signed in Oklahoma. But yes, um, Kyler Murray. He he deleted uh, most of his uh, posts about with the Cardinals on his Instagram, and on Twitter he he unfollowed the Cardinals on both his Twitter and Instagram. So there's some there's definitely something going on. He's not just ah. Even there, they say he could be doing construction on his Instagram. I don't think it's that, man. I don't think it's that. He would have posted something about it. No, or he would have said something about it, man. He's not going to just randomly do shit. I think uh, he wants to change, maybe. Maybe he wants to go to a team he knows he can win at. And uh, he he feels he has a connection better, even better than Cliff Kingsburg, which he spent a lot of his career with. Um, and, uh... I would love to have Kyler. Man, 20, almost 25. Dude, if we can get this done, Bruce Aarons, you're the fucking legend, man. You deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. You too, Lynch. You guys pull this off, bro. There's no doubt you guys fucking just set us up for fucking 10 years, man. So, Kyler, if you come, baby, we're going to fucking win a couple Super Bowls, baby. Let's go. I think if that happens, guys, this is the most I've been excited because Tom Brady's retirement pretty dimmed, dimmed us, but now at least we have something to look forward to, because even with Rodgers Wilson, you hear nothing not the Bucks, nothing about the Bucks, man, like eh, no one's mentioned it, because Aaron Rodgers is arrogant uh, let me repeat that Um, Aaron Rodgers his ego won't allow him to play in Tampa, I believe because he doesn't want to replace Tom Brady, he wants to be in his, he wants to create his own team and create his own era I don't see that happening in Tampa, unfortunately. Aaron Rodgers is me, he has a me mentality. Me, me, me. Not the team, not just winning Super Bowls, but me, me, me. He wants to win Super Bowls because he wants to have his legacy, but I just don't think it's going to be Tampa because Tom Brady was there. Um. So, yeah, I think that's going to happen. And also, Tennessee's like, nope, Rodgers, we're good. We got Tannehill. We got to do that uh, for free picks in a. In the playoff game, we're great. We're looking good, bud. We're, 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 we'll pass. We'll pass. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. But uh, but if they do Rick Spielman, then that'd be, that be that makes sense why they said that. Um. So, yeah, that's the Kyler Murray news. Pro Bowl, I watched that. I uh, did not enjoy it. I did not. It was t- it was basically flag football. You two in touch, like. I didn't even, I, it was like towards the end of the first quarter, I was like, okay, I'm changing this. This is so damn boring. I don't know how any of you Bucks fans were able to watch it, I'll, or, and Vikings fans. I was like, uh, uh, I'll probably pass on that. And, in other news, Saints uh, have hired Dennis Allen, uh, which we're all happy about. Because Dennis Allen's been a pain in their ass for the last couple of years, so we get to have a little revenge this season. Regardless who our quarterback is, the Saints are... They lost Calvin, Alvin Kamara to... Uh, he, uh, if I believe... This, you know, I'm believe, this is what I read, at least. Kyle, Alvin Kamara, they were at... He reached in the... They were in the elevator with this dude named Greeny. Him and his other friends were there also. And when that dude got, when the, about to leave the elevator, he pushed him, and they started beating the crap out of him. And now, um, Kamara got arrested, but unfortunately, his bail was only $50. Like, the fuck? Nah. Guess what happens when you have money. But, 
Yeah. Alvin Kamara, is, I'm pretty sure he's going to jail for a couple of years. Because the dude was not like... He had pictures, bro. He was... He's like he didn't get brain damage. Like, that was looking bad. A couple of dudes fucking pounding the shit out of you, man. You're going to come away with some injuries. <laughs> I've never really been a fan of Alvin Kamara. Just his whole, like, energy and his... Holy, how he holds himself. Everyone can say it's Moxie. That's not Moxie, bro. He ain't classy at all. His whole interior, I just don't, I never care for. I never care for. I might be a Bucks fan, I could be biased, but that's just how I felt about him. Ever, even when he came first came to the league. And I'm fair of everyone, you know. I was, I was a fan of Drew Brees, you know what I mean? Even if he was a Saints player. So, yeah, it's just my opinion. And yeah, those are the big, big news. Alvin Kamara getting arrested. Um, Saints fans are not looking good. Uh, is uh, pretty tough. So that in between the Colin Murray news, we had a, an eventful Sunday. But guys, Alvin Kamara to the Bucks. What do you guys think? Should we trade a first round pick, second round, two firsts? At this point, I'd be willing to trade two firsts. If he if he is officially in fucking Tampa, he wants to sign an extension. If he wants to be here for long term, give him two first round picks. Fuck it, give him two first round picks. This is our future, guys. We could he could be with us for the next ten years. So let me know your thoughts. Comment below, and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.